We seek to help you rebound from this pandemic. We are checking in with area CEOs to see how they're staying afloat and helping you stay afloat as well. In an interview you will not see anywhere else, we go one on one with the CEO of Black & Veatch, one of the biggest engineering firms in the world. And his headquarters are right here in the metro. We were founded here in Kansas City uh, about 105 years ago. And so Kansas City is, is part of the fabric of Black & Veatch. It's now got a global operation. A global operation dealing with a global pandemic. What makes you so optimistic about the future? Stephen Edwards during coming out on the other side is the CEO of Black & Veatch, one of the biggest engineering firms in the country. Clearly it's that, you know, it, you know Kansas City doesn't give up. We have, sometimes we struggle, but we never give up. But something's got to give. Like most businesses, Black & Veatch was forced to close its Kansas City headquarters to most of its workforce amid this pandemic and is now looking to the data for guidance. So we'll generally look for a, a number of consecutive days of declining numbers at low levels before we'll officially open an office back up. In the initial return to work, Edwards expects less than 25% of the building's original occupancy. And for those returning to work and for visitors, once they're inside, it's a very quick process. They must first enter this, the RAMS unit or Rapid Modular Health System unit. <laughs> Leave it up to engineers, right? So we will both test uh, and screen visitors that come to the facility as well as our professionals. As Dave Johnson explains, it can run a temperature scan in less than 30 seconds. There are sterilization stations, and if someone shows any symptoms, they can do a telehealth session with their remote physician right from this room right here that's disinfected. And then we go through a whole series of items with hygiene and cleaning of the offices, social distancing within the office. What do you think Black & Veatch will look like in six months? Six months, I hope that in some ways, we look a little like we did, but you know, our aspiration, our strategy is to be the most innovative and rapidly evolving company in our space. Unemployment, uh, north of 14%, and you know, experts predict it's gonna get even higher. With that said, how do you ensure job security for your employees? How do you like maintain the number of positions you currently have? We've <sighs> told our professionals, we've communicated them, that, you know, that our first thought was making sure that they're safe and healthy, everything we're doing, is to make take care of that no matter what that comes first. Edward says at first there was a bit of a panic. As a CEO, you know, the first thing you you, you go through a little bit of the worrying stage and kind of contemplating or you know what all you have to get your arms around. As you can see, it quickly turned into an opportunity for innovation. As for finances, new businesses kind of slowed down quite a bit during this pandemic for Black and Beach, but there were already several projects to keep employees busy. And with travel down, Edward says there aren't many additional costs, only additional opportunities. Everybody thinks about their iPhone and the 5G network, but man, they just expect that water to come out of the tap and the power to be on when they want it. We make sure all of that happens and it happens when you want it and in the right way. Folks, these are stories you won't see anywhere else. Along with Stephen Edwards, I also interviewed the CEOs of H&R Block, Community America Bank, Big Brothers Big Sisters of Greater Kansas City. And on Thursday, you will hear from the owner of the Royals, John Sherman.